Guys, welcome to Essential Style. Today, I thought we would do a three-year update on the Cole Haan Zero Grand that I've been wearing. This is actually my second pair of these, and I was looking for a third pair recently. So I'm gonna talk about what my thoughts are on getting a new pair, what I'm looking at, what I like, what I don't, and what I've been wearing in the meantime. So let's get right into it. All right, let's take a quick look first. So, a little dirty, not too bad. Overall, pretty decent three-year-old shoe. Got some wear right there. A little bit dirty, that's to be expected. I haven't cleaned these in a while. I haven't worn them in a while either. It's probably been at least a month or two since I wore them. You can see. Nice leather insole. Lined leather over there, and that's suede. Let's take a look at the other one. So this is the left one so now i don't know if you, yeah you guys can see it this one always looked lighter than this one for some reason no matter how many times i polished it if they both looked a little bit darker kind of like this one i think i would really enjoy them a little bit better but it's more of a, a shoe you wear every day not something that you save for special occasions overall leather's creasing not too bad a little bit of scuffs here and there Wear is not too bad. One thing I really like about these shoes, I think I mentioned it in my first video, was this rubber and this rubber. They are made of a more dense, more dense rubber. This is squishy and this is not. So these are the high wear areas. That means the shoe's gonna last quite a bit longer than if they were all just this squishy rubber. So, all right. So what I've enjoyed about these shoes is I'm, I really am a big fan of the wingtip. I like the color initially. Overall, like I said, this is my second pair. So I had the first pair that was just like this and I wore it out because I was walking around New York City working. I don't work in New York City anymore, so I don't walk as much as I do on the daily. But it's still nice to have a casual shoe like this. I don't actually have any brown casual shoes. I have boots and dress shoes, but I don't have any casual shoes. This has just served its purpose. So the new version of these, this is the Zero Grand first version. They came out with Zero Grand 2, the 3, I think they may, I don't even know. They're always coming out with something new. Cole Haan seems to be doing a lot of advertising and they're more flashy than some of the old school classical brands like Allen Edmonds, Aldens. The reason I mentioned that is because I was actually walking through a Macy's at one point a few months ago and I had seen that the leather inside right here was no longer lined with leather. It was all this suede material and this wasn't the leather insole. Now this is a removable insole, so it's not a real leather insole that you know has cork inside of it like some of the American made shoes like the Red Wing Chuckas for example. But this was just kind of like a softer material like a cloth and something happened i mean the shoe just felt a little bit flimsier now they did lower the price on these these list price on these used to be 270 dollars now they're 189 dollars so the price did decrease but i think the quality decreased as well or, or it would seem so and i'm not really sure if i'm going to re-up for a third pair and I just wanted to bring that to everyone's attention because I know that old video I said, oh, if you can get them for under 200 bucks, it's a steal. For this quality, if you can get it for around 200 bucks, it's a pretty good deal, but you get what you pay for. And going back, I mean, I would happily pay $270 for this pair if I could have this pair again, then have a reduced price and cheaper quality leather. I just want to reiterate, I don't have any real experience with wearing the new cheaper pair, but it just didn't seem the same. The leather, didn't, the leather didn't feel the same. And cheaper leather is not gonna crease like this. I usually kept these in shoe trees. I don't have any in there right now just because I use them in some of my other shoes. It's been a great run with these shoes. I think I'm probably gonna look into some other options in the future. One thing that always kind of bothered me about these shoes, it looks okay right now, but over time, the color kind of fades. You guys can probably see that. Like see how light the color's looking? I know it looks pretty cool. Like over here, it looks like it's getting that patina. But, you know, I put a lot of dark brown polish on these shoes and they just get lighter and lighter and lighter. You wear them in the rainstorm, which rain is not 
destroy these shoes. I've soaked them multiple times. Like I mentioned in my first Cold Han Zero Grand video, I just tried to get them darker and darker as time went on, but they got lighter and lighter. You can even see back here. And that's something that kind of always bothered me. This is the color belt that I wore them with. I had this belt, which is a little bit too dark. And I had another belt that's a little bit lighter. I'd always rather err on the side of the belt a little bit darker than the shoe than a little bit lighter than the shoe. It always kind of bothered me that I couldn't really get the color that I really wanted. So if these were a little bit higher quality and a little bit better quality leather so that they were just a little bit darker and aged a little bit nicer, then I would be satisfied with them. Also too, now that I haven't been wearing them, I do remember the way that your foot sits in here, you know, it's a comfortable shoe, but because it's so flexible, I do remember it putting a lot of pressure right here, like on the bottoms of my toes. And specifically on my right foot, I remember I would get a sore toe kind of right in here. And that's just weird, you know, comfort subjective after all. Cole Haan does make some other options that I think are great. They make one called the Cole Haan Grand Pro. They make it in the color they call Woodberry. It seems to be a color like this, but it's a little bit more uniform. I have yet to get my hands on it. I'm kind of looking into that. I know a lot of brands are doing that nowadays. You have a lot of white leather sneakers that are popping up that look really cool and a lot of brown leather options as well, which are the same colorway pretty much as this, you know, the dark brown, dark medium brown, light colored outsole that I like so much. So now that I'm not wearing these daily anymore, I have actually been wearing these two shoes. So I've been cycling back and forth between these two. And I really do feel that the Zero Grand kind of sits in the middle of them. This is a proper dress shoe, leather sole, American made, leather's beautiful quality. And then this is, you guys have seen, probably seen my Clark's Desert Boot video, pretty comfortable shoe. So depending on what you wanna do, you could either wear this, or have something that does everything all the time, or you can have one casual shoe, one dressy shoe. And this has been working out for me lately. You guys have probably seen the Clark Desert Boot review I did. And this is just your typical American-made leather sole dress shoe. Very comfortable. I've been wearing it a couple of times a week lately. And I was a little bit concerned with the heel comfort, but overall, I'm enjoying it. And now you guys can probably see, comparing the Zero Grand to the Desert Boot or the Allen Edmonds Wingtip Boot, these two are a lot more classic than this one. I do recommend if you have a setup like this and you have multiple shoes, you probably don't need something like the Zero Grand, especially with its modern, especially with its modern design, kind of a little bit crazy looking in certain scenarios. I really think that you can do everything with these two shoes. You can wear them with shorts, shorts, khakis, jeans, chinos, well, khakis or chinos, suits with this one, casual suit separates with that one, which again would be khakis. So that's it. Keep you guys posted on if I end up getting a new pair of these, what I'm wearing instead. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I saw there were a bunch of comments on my first Zero Grand video, so I just wanted to kind of address some of the things and some of the responses of the comments that I made a while ago. My opinions have changed just because, like I said, the construction seems to have changed. The world has moved on, obviously, and I don't know if this is necessarily the best choice anymore. I would say if you like the wingtip shoe and you like this aesthetic and you're really just looking for something that you can just wear and be comfortable and if it works for you, great, absolutely, have at it. The big reason why I don't know if I'm going to be getting this again is just because the quality seems to have dropped and already I think the quality, I think they use a very cheap dye and I think that's why I never really got these to be super dark whereas these shoes, I've had them for three years. I haven't worn them as much, but I've been wearing them a lot lately now that it's the summertime. I do feel like something like this, it's just gonna hold its color a lot more. It's gonna be able to fit in a lot of more situations. And I also think that you're gonna, you could wear this with shorts a lot easier than you could wear this with shorts. And I bring that up because I know that that's a pretty risky thing for a lot of people to do. But if you just look at it, it's just more sleeker, more classic. And if the comfort's there, for me, I have it, why not? So if, if, if the comfort's there for you and you've got a nicer shoe, American made, and you can wear it every day, your feet are good, 
I don't think you need a cheaper version of what you've already got. I hope that helps you guys out. Thanks so much for stopping by. Talk to you guys in the next one. Have a great week. Bye.